Asphalt mixture performance testing is an important aspect of performance engineered mixture design of asphalt mixtures. It helps improve performance and prolong service life of flexible pavements. This video is part four in a series of four videos on asphalt testing using the Asphalt Mixture Performance Tester, or AMPT. This video demonstrates the preparation and testing for stress sweep rutting, or SSR, based on AASHTO TP-134. All AASHTO standards mentioned in this video are private voluntary standards and are not required under federal law. Before starting this test, fabricate four test specimens as recommended by AASHTO R83. Refer to video one on small and large scale specimen fabrication in this series for more information. Before beginning the SSR test, prepare the specimen assembly as follows. Supplies and materials are shown here and include four 100 millimeter diameter by 0.3 millimeter thick latex membranes, silicone grease, wooden strips, scissors, 100 millimeter diameter by 150 millimeter high specimen, 100 millimeter diameter by 0.3 millimeter thick latex membrane to encase specimen, bottom and top loading platens, steel ball, four rubber O-rings, 100 millimeters, dummy specimen with membrane and thermocouple thermal probe installed in the middle of the test specimen. First, Prepare the end friction reducer using the circular latex membranes. Add approximately 0.25 plus or minus 0.05 grams of silicone grease to one of the latex membranes. Evenly spread the grease around the membrane. Place another circular membrane disc on top and smooth out with a wooden strip. This will be used with the upper platen. For the lower platen, you will need a hole in the middle of the double layered membrane that aligns with the vent on the platen for the drainage. Repeat the steps to create a double layered membrane. When assembled, fold it into quarters and then cut off the point of the fold to make a hole or punch a hole in the membrane. Unfold and align the hole on the membrane with the vent on the lower platen. Place the specimen on the lower platen and cover with the membrane. Stretch the membrane around the base. Secure one O-ring around the top groove of the platen. Next, flip the membrane down evenly to reveal the platen and straighten. Secure another O-ring on the second groove. Take the circular latex membrane prepared for the upper platen and place on top of the specimen. Position the upper platen on top of the specimen and pull the membrane up and over the platen. Place an O-ring on the top groove and then fold the membrane down and straighten. Attach an O-ring to the second groove. The specimen assembly is ready for conditioning. Refer to the current AASHTO recommended standard when performing this test. Place both the testing and dummy specimens in the external environmental chamber until the dummy specimen reaches the test temperature refer to the recommended test temperatures given in the standard. Verify the calibration of the AMPT using a proving ring before beginning this test. Turn on the AMPT and set the temperature control to the desired test temperature and allow the AMPT conditioning chamber to equilibrate for at least one hour. Once the chamber is conditioned and the dummy specimen has reached the target temperature, start setting up the test specimen in the AMPT conditioning chamber. Open the conditioning chamber. Place the steel ball on the top of the top platen and set the assembly in the chamber. Ensure that the assembly is secure on the stage. Then properly connect the drainage line to the loading platens so they are vented to atmospheric pressure through the bubble chamber. 
close the AMPT conditioning chamber, and return the chamber to the target temperature. Pressurize the AMPT conditioning chamber. Pressurization should take approximately 10 seconds. Watch the bubble chamber to ensure air comes through the drainage line. Check the air bubbles for 10 to 15 seconds. A frequency of approximately 1 to 10 bubbles per second indicates proper drainage. No bubbles may indicate a blockage, and a faster rate may indicate membrane leakage. Under the General tab, select Ashto Rutting Resistance of Asphalt Mixtures Using Stress Sweep Rutting Tests. Enter project name, operator, as well as any testing comments. Under the Specimen Info tab, enter specimen identification, conditioning time, percent air void, and diameter and height of the specimen. Under Setup Parameters, enter the appropriate test temperatures for the testing location, conditioning time, 60 minutes, and number of increments, 3. The load pulse width should be 400 milliseconds. The rest period should be 1600 milliseconds for low temperature and 3600 milliseconds for high temperature. For the increment table which covers deviator stress, contact force, confining pressure, and number of cycles, refer to the recommended values in the AASHTO TP134 standard. Click Start and save the data file. When the test is complete, verify that all the data has been collected. Open the AMPT conditioning chamber, disconnect the drainage line, and remove the tested specimen assembly. Review your data. Check that it is acceptable and corresponds with AASHTO TP134 standards. For more information about Asphalt Mixture Performance Tester procedures or other pavement testing resources, contact the Federal Highway Administration.